Imagine creating a blockbuster film with only a few lines of text. That is the extraordinary potential of text to video AI, which we will be talking about today. It's getting scary. It's cool, but it's starting to feel like the beginning of a sci-fi film. If you didn't know, OpenAI is working on creating the first, or not necessarily the first, but a very well-formed text video platform called Sora. And similar to how ChatGBT works, Sora's media is created by using artificial intelligence techniques such as deep learning algorithms to synthesize realistic looking videos. You could see some of the outputs here like this woman walking in Tokyo or this animated scene or even this young man reading. How about this historical looking footage? The process of creating these videos involves either manipulating existing footage or creating entirely new footage, all based on text prompts. I can see AI generated footage being used to replace stock videos. You can even rewrite the endings to certain TV shows like a... Uh, <clears throat> Game of Thrones, or to even more nefarious uses such as creating deep fake videos. This technology though is undeniably reshaping the landscape. I, for one, am definitely getting a little bit scared. Let's talk about it. There have been many conversations. I actually think they started when ChatGBT came out that kind of stated that we would never be seeing this text to video kind of tool in our lifetimes. So since this text to image creation such as Dolly, Clip and Mid Journey, there always has been this interest in taking it a step further. And now we can see with Sora, AI can generate very realistic video footage. This includes capturing facial expressions, human movement, and complex visual effects. I also want to point out that yes, if you go frame by frame in the Sora outputs, you will find certain discrepancies. For instance, in this historical footage, you can see this figure disappearing into nothing. I do believe that this is the worst text to video AI creation that we are seeing. It's only going to get better, only gonna get smarter. It's gonna be hard to distinguish in the near future what is AI generated and what is authentic? Let's look at some closer examples as we begin to talk about its impact and the scary aspects of it all. So here is a snow globe with a dwarf in a sphere who is raking the Zen garden. And here's a panoramic shot of the people in Lagos, Nigeria in the year 2056. This one to me definitely feels like it was more of an AI generated video. I think it's kind of in terms of like people's complexion, it's like oddly smooth. Here's a Petri dish of a bamboo forest growing within it that has tiny red pandas with only, you know, like two legs instead of four. And then here's also this stack of vintage television showing all these different programs. All of these are very unique, very different prompts, and they all are really well done. And also Beans would like you to subscribe and like this video. At its core, the model leverages sophisticated machine learning techniques, which enables it to interpret the nuances of language and also detect thematic elements and is able to generate a video that not only captures what it is physically, but can also seem to really capture the subtleties of emotion, aura of the environments. This is is an unprecedented amount of realistic detail. We are truly entering an age of unprecedented opportunities in the entertainment industry. It will definitely revolutionize the way we all consume and create media. And of course, AI really brings about sense of efficiency. So in terms of video production, which is probably the most obvious example to mention, it drastically reduces time, labor. I think all of these videos also can capture certain camera shakes. It can mimic what a drone footage shot looks like. I really do think people are going to begin creating full movies and stories just using text to video programs. But on the flip side, I think AI is at risk of replacing multiple jobs, multiple jobs in marketing, entertainment, video production, even architecture. Marketing, I can foresee AI 
producing rather quickly personalized video advertisements, which could be tailored to certain populations, can have different messages and meanings, would be budget friendly too, because there's just no video production team. If it was tailored too, to certain population groups, you would actually even see a higher conversion rate for whatever they are selling. In entertainment and even video game design, I definitely see AI text to video being used to create these immersive digital worlds. In architecture, of course I have to talk about architecture, the text to video software will definitely play a huge role in terms of our visualization workflows. I think it would automate how we visualize our buildings and it could potentially even replace the whole workflow of concept generation. AI generated videos could definitely produce, mass produce, honestly, um, multiple, multiple different concepts for buildings. Individuals try to go against the flow, against the grain of AI will be replaced first. People who kind of fought against the internet and integrating computers into their businesses um, definitely struggled in the early 2000s. So I'm curious to see how companies and businesses will start to integrate it. But it's concerning, right? Because so many jobs are on the line. A year ago, this was Will Smith eating spaghetti. And we all laughed about it then. And But now look at it. It's stunning visuals. And this kind of leads me to my next segment of the video, talking about the dark sides of AI video generation. Misinformation and fake videos, I think will be on the rise where it's going to get to the point where it's hard to discern what is real and what is fake. Deep fake technology has been around for a while, but it will emerge as a tool for creating such hyper-realistic videos that can either manipulate who is saying what or just generating entirely fabricated content. And therefore this kind of erodes trust in the authenticity of digital media. This in turn erodes societal cohesion, which undermines the visual evidence and fostering a sense of skepticism in this media format. Right now, Sora has this bar-like watermark on the bottom right-hand corner of all of its videos. I'm sure as this technology continues to grow and get smarter, there will be more platforms and services that provide a similar opportunity and potentially even provide services such as deepfake content. I do firmly believe though that AI generated text to video kind of content will be strategically utilized to manipulate the public's opinion. It's also just not necessarily regulated at all right now. So it's going to be difficult for consumers and to discern reality from fiction. We should also be talking about corn on the cob as well, if you get what I'm saying. With the ability to create certain simulations, individuals, celebrities, even politicians, they might find themselves in compromising situations that are just not true. There is a heightened risk of privacy violations. It opens doors for exploitation and harassment. Not too long ago, Taylor Swift was actually a victim of the text to image generation, which spread rather quickly on Twitter slash X. I definitely see in the future that this technology would be applied to video making and um, and it, just, it really turns my stomach just thinking about it. There is a lack of regulations and accountability necessarily in this in this new era. This technology can easily be weaponized for malicious purposes. Sora at the moment is not made available to the public. It's in its like testing phase and certain people are invited to test it. And I do believe that the company is trying to test out certain safeguards and seeing how to prevent certain things like we talked about from happening. Like I mentioned in this video up here, I do believe certain technologies and building designs, the ethics of it all kind of hinges on the intentions, whether pure or not, of the creator. I did scour through Sora's website and I do feel like it's very authentic, but maybe I'm misjudging, I'm not sure, but I do think they are trying to put in safeguards to protect people. We'll see how it plays out. I do also think with the advent of this technology, we are going to see a wave of other technologies that can detect AI 
text to video content. Similar to Sora, these technologies will leverage machine learning algorithms and forensic analysis techniques to detect anomalies indicative of AI manipulation. By promoting media literacy to the general public is very beneficial. But to be honest, in the past, a lot of misinformation has been spread out there. So we will see how this plays out. In the not too distant future, these AI systems are going to undergo more revolutionary advancements. Will it get to the point where you are able to create a full two hour long cinematic film? I don't even know. With advancements in VR and AR, augmented reality, text to AI can also begin to create deeply immersive experiences, which could in turn blur the line between what is reality and what is fake. But regardless, as these technologies continue to advance rapidly, ethical and societal implications should be talked about and also be carefully navigated. If you liked this video, please be sure to check out my video essay on Saudi Arabia's The Line.